isa brakatea hawa, brakatea shai, brakatea hawa, brakatea shai, brakatea hawa, brakatea shai. First and foremost, you wanna wanna give you wanna give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakakodash. God belongs to the apostles and elders who rule well at Great Millstone. And a blessed sanitation to the Akiyams in the folk and the yard to push in the gospel and sincerity in church. Shalom. It's coming a quick lesson to feed the elect and the nation of Israel. Right? You know, the fear of the Lord gonna be this gonna be the salvation of the the, the, the fear of the Lord gonna be the salvation of the elect. Right? You understand? They're gonna be of the elect. You gotta fear the Lord is wisdom. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability at times, the times that we're coming into, the time of destruction, you know, destruction of the so called white man, destruction of two third of the, of the so called Negroes, Latins, and Native American Indian, and no one's slavery for these heathen nations. You understand? So, hey, the fear of the Lord is the salvation of the, of the elect of the nation of Israel, you so called Negroes, Latins, and Native American Indian. Right? Get into the quick lesson, you know. This is John Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 24. He said, And the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai commanded us to do all these statues to fear the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai of power. Yeah, we gotta fear the Lord. Because, yeah, the most, the most is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Because there is no one to save you or deliver you out of his hand. Right? You understand? He's who creates you. Your life. Your breath is in his hand and he can do you whatever you want. So you gotta fear him. You always gotta be circumspect all your the things that you do. You got everything that you do and say you're gonna be recompensed, right? whether whether it's good or whether it's bad. You understand? This with these this with these void of understanding is like don't understand, they know to speak proudly and not knowing that they have to they're gonna be recompensed. They're gonna be responsible for the things they say and for the action they take. They don't, they don't consider that, right? This is Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 24. He said, And the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh commanded us to do all these statues to fear the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh of power for our good always. For our good always. So it's a beautiful thing to fear Yahweh Bashem Yahweh right? He said, That he might preserve us alive. And this we're looking for, for the whole free elect. To be what to be delivered from this destruction that Yahweh Bashem Yahushua gonna bring on the earth. You understand? Great famine, death, and destruction. You understand? There's about to come in the face of the earth. That thing, things, this destruction, this this what about to come, it gonna be worse more than slavery. You understand? Worse more than slavery. What about to come? So hey, you know the fear of the Lord gonna be our salvation. Right? It's um he said, for our good always, that he might preserve us alive as it is at this day. So this will be looking for to be what? To be delivered, you know, from this destruction that come in, right? To be delivered from the famine, the race war, the martial law, from the microchip, from the nuclear missile war, war we looking to be delivered from these things that come in, right? Uh, for 25. And it shall be our righteousness, and it shall be our righteousness, because our forefather Abraham believed Yahweh, and it was counted for him for righteousness. Right? He said, if we observe to do all these commandments before our Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua our power, as He had commanded us, so hey, is a is a hey, hey, the fear of the Lord gonna be gonna be our salvation. Right? This is Proverbs chapter fourteen. Right? Let me start from uh, verse twenty six. He said, "In the fear, in the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is a strong confidence. In the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is strong confidence. You understand? The Most High gonna deliver His men that fear Him, His elect, His 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 beloved, which is um, which 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 is the house, which is the bayat, the bayat uh, bayat the bayat of Dawada." You understand which is the house of David? You understand? He said, um, Proverbs chapter 14, verse 26 In the fear of the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahushua is strong confidence, 
and his children shall have a place of refuge which is safety you understand which is safety you understand that this day this is really meant the lord we hoping to be delivered from this destruction you know we're gonna fear Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai continually because we know it we know we know the terror of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai you know we know the terror of him the heavenly father power balance he do good and he do evil you understand he's a power he's a he's a he's a power of balance you understand and the word evil has made distress misery bad time you know these times these things that we see happening on, on the earth is the heavenly father doing these things he bringing out this great evil because this is a wicked demonic kingdom you're living in right and these people out there don't fear you how about shame you how to tell you so can negroes latins and native american indian you have to not fear you how about shame you how and you're gonna bring you're gonna bring evil on you right Proverbs 14 26 he said in the fear of the lord you how about shame you how is a strong confidence and his children shall have a have a place of refuge for 27 the fear of the lord you how about shame you how is the fountain of life and this we're looking for for life that this is not no life we not living we dead in this place we sick every day we, we still slaves you understand we got kind of aches and pain our body break down every day we're not eating real food we got fluoride in the water you understand came chill in the air everything does defile you understand if you walk around a car it's plain saying that you have to use a fool because we eating defiled bread so this is not life we need the kingdom of heaven with these women getting new bodies that we could dwell and live forever and live in a live in a clean atmosphere a clean earth clean environment you understand right this is a uh, proverbs chapter 14 verse 27 the fear of the lord yahweh Hashem is the fountain of life to depart from the snare of death to depart from the snare of death and the snare this 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 the snare of death coming with a famine, martial law, all them pestilence, race war, mark the mark of the beast, the micro um, the nuclear missile, war war three. You understand? So hey, the fear the long and delivery from that. You understand? The fear the long and delivery from that. Right? Let me get a quick piece of day. This is Isaiah. Right? Isaiah 33. Isaiah 23 and 6 he said and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time you understand you're gonna the man who got wisdom and knowledge he, he gonna be stable in the time he gonna be stable in famine because he know how about Hashem how shall do it and the most I can feed his men right the men who cry and sigh the men who stand up for you how about Hashem how shall the men who stand up for righteousness the men who acknowledge the wickedness and repent and turn back to you how about Hashem how shall right the most are gonna defend them because they stand stiffly for righteousness they stand up in the face of the enemy and speak out against the early wicked abomination that be done in the earth right so they're gonna be stable in this time because they understand that it's their power doing it and they bringing judgment upon the earth right he said and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of their time and strength of salvation and strength of salvation the fear of the lord is his treasure so the fear of the lord can deliver his elect the fear of the lord is our salvation right the fear of the lord let me get this here quick this is job and this is my favorite precept right this is my favorite precept this is job 28 28 and unto man he said behold the fear of the lord yahweh or hashem yahushai that is wisdom and to depart from evil that it and to depart from evil is understanding so the fear of the lord that is wisdom you understand that is wisdom and to depart from evil is understanding you understand so the fear of the lord gonna be our salvation right they're, they're gonna deliver us in the time of trouble right they're gonna be our they're gonna be they're gonna, they're gonna be our, our salvation right uh, we get a quick piece of here too right you understand um, this is a uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 2 verse 10 he said look at the generation of old and see it 
did ever any that trust in the Lord and was confounded or did any abide in the fear and was forsaken he said or who did or who did he ever despise that call upon him you understand so did he say he said or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken no so the fear of the heavenly father is our salvation that's how we're gonna be saved you understand that is how we're gonna be saved and we fear you you understand jump to verse 17 he said they that fear the lord yahweh will prepare their hearts prepare your mind you understand we can prepare your mind well we can we can we can feed with mind with these scriptures which is the spiritual food you understand he said they that fear the lord will prepare their hearts but he said and humble their soul in in his sight saying we will fall into the hands of the lord yahweh and not into the hands of men for as his majesty is so is his mercy so the fear of the lord yahweh is our salvation you understand this is our salvation let me get a quick one here too right he said this is um ecclesiasticus 25 and 12 he said the fear of the lord yahweh is the beginning of his love and faith is the beginning of cleaving unto him you understand yeah so the fear of the most high is the beginning of his love right the most high gonna love them who fear him right you understand this is ecclesiasticus chapter 24 for 24 he said faith not to be strong in the lord yahweh hashem that that he may comfort conf, comfort you cleave unto him for the lord yahweh almighty is power alone and beside him there is no other salvation that's why you gotta fear him there is no other salvation it's only yahweh hashem yahweh's salvation it's only he can save you understand that's why we gotta fear yahweh hashem yahweh you understand we gotta fear yahweh hashem yahweh right let me close off with this here this is psalms right this is Psalm 91, right? Psalm 91, verse 1, right? He said, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Mosai shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. What is the secret place of the Mosai? These scriptures is the secret place of the Mosai, right? What was written, what was written for our learning, roughly paraphrasing, right? Which is, is, um, is, um, is, is Romans um, 15 and 4. Things that were written were written for our learning. You understand? We just uh, make sure a power a paraphrase the right precept. It's just Proverbs 15 and 4. Right? So the secret the secret place of the most high is these scriptures. Right? Is these is these um is the scripture of Khan, right? It's uh, Psalm 91 and 1. He said, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of, of the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh, He is my refuge and my fortress. My power in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, which is the so called white man, the snare of the fowler, he's the wicked. Right? He said, And from the noise and pestilence, which is those missiles, He shall cover thee with His fetter, and under His wing shall thou trust, which is these chariots. Right? We're going to be, the elect going to be beam up in these chariots. You understand? He say, his, his truth shall be thy shield and thy buckler, which is this word, wisdom and that shall be the stability of the times. So in the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is the salvation of his elect. You understand? And this is a quick lesson to edify the elect of the Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. You know, with that, we must be fire. And I want to give our praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders who rule well at Great Men's Stone, and a blessed sanitation to the Akiyams in the folk and the art to push in the gospel of sincerity and truth. Shalom.